So, uh, so what were you saying about black crime? Well, Wayne, I was reading in uh, American Thinker this morning, <coughs> and in Southern Liberty uh, Poverty Center, you know, yeah, they've been hiding the fact that th there's all this new types of black crime. It's where they do that wilding, where they just like a whole gang of them get together on their cell phones. Okay, we're going to meet at this store at this time, and like a hundred of them burst into the store, grab all the shit they can, and leave. Yeah. The other one is carjackings in Chicago. Oh, yeah. And then another one is uh, terrorizing rich white people on the subway in Chicago. Yeah. So what? those are stories that must be hidden at all costs. Mm -hmm. Well, same thing out in, I, I read another one out in California since they're emptying all the jails. Yeah. Property crimes have gone up. Yeah. I mean, oh, it's a bit like it's a big joke now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did you get your car broken in last night? Yeah, and, and they changed the law on that, but that's not a crime anymore. Oh, ain't that, ain't that something? Ain't that special? Yeah. Of course, all the, uh, the of course, all the people, you know, the white, all the rich lives out there. The one in Silicon Valley, they live, you know, they all live in probably gated communities and have security. Yeah. Yeah. They say the tourists are really complaining about San Francisco. You know, I must have got in the wrong part of town because it has all these needles and human shit on the ground and stuff. Oh no, that's the nice part of town. Yeah. <coughs> no. The nice part of town. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, you know the the story about that dividing California up in three states. Yeah. Well, one guy looked at that and said, this is, you know, the way they've drawn it up, it's no good. Because each section, each state, Northern California, you got California, Northern California, Southern California. Each state would have a, have a big cap, a big shithole capital that's basically going to control everything. Okay, and still have a big uh, population center of lips. Oh, yeah. Well, like Northern California, that San Francisco is in Northern California. Yeah, but that was in California, wasn't it? Well, yeah, well, yeah, they just divide, they, they, it's on the ballot. They no, but it. I thought the way they cut it is that the Silicon Valley stayed with L.A. is California. Well, that Silicon Valley was around San Francisco. It is, but yeah. I'm just saying, I know it's quite a ways north, but it's still all along the coast there where all the rich live. Yeah. Although Sacramento, that would be in Northern California, and I think that's a live on clock claim, too. Yeah, well, most of your big cities are. Yeah. I don't know why that is. Something in the water, maybe. Because again, you like you look at Oregon, Washington, say to uh, Washington, uh, you know, they go blue, but, you know, in the elections, they go blue, and then you look at the, the, the election map, yeah. and 90% of the state's red. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, the con the population concentration is just in the cities. Oh, that like David Nones, uh, he's from a representative from California. Streisand and uh, all these Hollywood libs are trying to get uh, get Nunes, you know, ousted. The election coming up. Yeah. I don't know why is it like rich libs? They just they lo just love. Lo they don't mind law breaking when their sides do it. Yeah. It's just. I don't know, but you know, none of this happened overnight, of course. This, all, this has all been building for like 40, 40, 50 years. Yeah. Yeah, my wife's reading that book, Going Up to the Country. Yeah. Have you heard of that? No. It's a book about the libs coming to uh, Vermont, and I've told her for years about that Playboy article you quoted. Yeah. And she said it's mentioned in there. Oh, yeah. Taking over Vermont. That was back in the that was back in the early seventies. <coughs> yep. <coughs> and now, but it's funny. Now here's the ironic thing. Now, all all, all all the all the hippies came up and took over Vermont, but now they can't get more they can't get more people up here now. They're, yep. they're paying people ten thousand dollars a you know yep. a, a subsidy to come here. Yeah. You know, Chelsea had his last graduation, yeah. high school graduation. I heard that. You know how many people? How many? Seven. 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 I mean, how could you have a school for seven people? 
Well, that's probably why they closed it. But they, you know, nobody's, nobody, they're all old people. They're all kids. Nobody's having kids. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, the only, you know, it's funny, you know, they're, they're, the two infamous students that they have there would be the Chelsea boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, one of them's out of prison. Was up on West Hill by me. He, oh, he's out? One uh, the, of them is. The accomplice. I guess, yeah. Oh, the other one's in for life. Not for oh, yeah. Somebody bought the movie rights to that, but it uh, never amounted to anything because the whole thing was, uh, you know, you couldn't. How, how can you make a movie when the case was solved immediately? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay.